Rudy Giuliani, who used his career as prosecutor to gain a reputation as Tokus crime mayor, is now facing charges in one of the country's most high-profile indictments. Famous Giuliani who as a prosecutor used the Blackmail Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act to crack down the mafia, is on trial in Georgia RICO charges. Giuliani, once referred as America's mayor for his response to the 911 terrorist attacks, could be jailed for his efforts keep former President Trump in power despite losing the election. The surrender in Georgia last week on 13 charges for state's efforts to distort the 2020 election. Results marks a new low for Giuliani, who is trying to keep up with growing legislative bill. That's a dramatic drop for a man who briefly ran for the Republican presidential nomination in 2008, but saw his reputation plummet while helping another GOP leader, Ken Friedman who served as Giuliani's press secretary during his 1993 mayoral campaign, said America's mayor should have been at head of the obituary, but instead it probably won't appear until fourth or fifth paragraph and will be ironically juxtaposed, given the peak H has reached Rudy's death. The abyss he fell into is unimaginable, Friedman said. Giuliani who interpreted experience of surrendering to the authorities in Georgia as a spectator rather than a man who experienced it. Did not miss irony. I did it on autopilot. Now I'm aware enough of human psychology to know that this was a massive attack on me. It must have been a terrible shock for me to be exposed to a criminal record and have my fingerprints taken when I've probably handled 6,000, 7,000 cases, Giuliani said, in an interview with Newsmax the night he surrendered in the case. If I had been a common criminal, I would have been treated the same way. If I had been a lawyer doing my job with dignity for an innocent client, it would have been completely different. Then it is an injustice. The legal system took a different approach to what Giuliani saw as the routine actions of a lawyer defending his client. He is facing lawsuits in both New York and Washington, D.C. that will strip him of his law license. Beyond criminal charges in Georgia, he is also facing three defamation suits. Two from different voting equipment companies and a third from a mother-daughter duo of election. Workers whom he accused of manipulating ballot papers. A DCBASED judge found Giuliani responsible in election workers' lawsuit on Wednesday and took case to next level to determine if he owed compensation and how large compensation could be. It was also ordered that two women pay more than 130000 for attorneys' fees they had incurred in compelling him to turn over discovery in case. Giuliani is also facing a lawsuit in which a former employee seeks 10 million in damages for alleged sexual assault, harassment and salary theft. A series of lawsuits have already taken a toll on Giuliani's finances. The number of digital record-keeping suit